With the release of one of the most awaited upcoming mods, Daisy Expansion, I have wanted to get back into the Daisy standalone action since the day the mod was released. Quoted from the Daisy Expansion workshop page on Steam, Daisy Expansion is a feature rich modification that brings many long awaited features and quality of life improvements to Daisy. With countless changes and additions to the game, Daisy Expansion is sure to change up the core gameplay a lot. More vehicles, reimagined locations, completely new types of vehicles such as helicopters and boats, improved base building, and much more. Get ready to relive those nostalgic Daisy mod memories. This mod is exactly what I've been waiting for someone in the Daisy community to release, and I am so grateful that the dev team of Daisy Expansion have done so. I have been doing research and trying out many Daisy servers and I've come across a few in particular that I would like to share with you and advise you to play, especially if you're interested in the new Daisy expansion mod. In this video I'm going to talk about four servers in particular that I love playing on and one server which I play on when I like to just chill out and practice my aim on. Once this video is released I'm going to work on one video for each server that I've spoken about, talking about the features that each has and why I like to play on them. For each server that I talk about in this video, I will include an IP address to the DAISY server and an invite link to their Discord server in the description below. Another thing to take into account is that I use the DZSA launcher in order to easily join the servers and there will also be a link for that program in the description below. The first server that I am including in this video is called Mango Daisy, and at the time of this video Mango's dev team has started working on a feature packed Daisy expansion server which I am very excited for. I started playing Mango Daisy way before Daisy expansion was released and I was seriously impressed. For starters the staff are amazing and are always up for helping out if you need assistance. The Daisy server itself features mods such as banking, Z spawn selection, better suppressors, CPB weapons, no shoe damage. CRSK's BMW 525i E34, builder items, base furniture mods, IRP's Land Rover Defender, remastered armor weapons pack, traders, no base destruction, Mungard's item pack, Masses mini item overhaul, salient bag plus, windstrides clothing and flip transport for when Daisy's physics like to, uh, you know, take over, let's say. As mentioned, I will make a video dedicated to Mango Daisy shortly after this video is released. And as all of the servers in this video, Mango Daisy has a very friendly Discord server, including server polls, leaderboards, personal stats, and looking for group channels, as well as general chit chat channels. Another thing that I would love to mention about Mango Daisy is that I've noticed that I get supremely good FPS. Right, that is that is a that is a key feature in my opinion. You get supremely good FPS. Just saying. The second server I'm going to mention is Lone Survivor. The first thing I will say about Lone Survivor is that if you want PvP very soon after joining, then this is the server for you, because at the time of recording this video, there are 100 out of 100 players in server 3, which is ridiculous, but in a good way. Lone Survivor has quite a few servers including first person only servers and first and third person servers. Personally, I prefer third person servers as I like seeing exactly what my character looks like at all times but that's just my opinion. But what is great about Lone Survivor is that it offers the choice of first person only servers for people wanting a more hardcore Daisy experience. The Lone Survivor server that I play on features mods such as CPB weapons, FRP test guns, Salient Bag Plus, Remastered Armor Weapons Pack, Disabled Garden Plots, Masses Many Items Overhaul, Traders, Builder Items, Mungard's Item Pack, Cloud's Military Gear, and Squad MSF-C. Lone Survivor's Discord server has a variety of channels such as leaderboards, player stats, suggestions, media share channels, and looking for group channels, which is always a benefit. The next server that I would like to mention is Trump's Wall. Now Trump's Wall do have quite a few servers but all have high player counts. Personally I would say that Trump's Wall servers are designed for the people who want a heavily modded Daisy standalone experience, and from time to time I am certainly one of those people. The main thing that I love about this server is the high amounts of loot and clothing variants. Considering there are a lot of scripts in this server, the FPS isn't affected a lot negatively, which is surprising, but it just shows how good the development team are at what they do. The server I tend to play on is EU3, and it contains mods such as 6 Daisy Auto Run, Base Furniture, Gauzy, Inventory Plus, Kill Feed, Masses Many Items Overhaul, Party Me, Saline Bag Plus, Traders, Squad, 
MSFC, Unlimited Stamina, and many, many more. The Trump's Wall Discord server has a large variety of channels, like the previous servers mentioned, but also includes channels focused on real-world topics such as PC build talk and car talk, which I find interesting to look at every so often. The fourth server that I am showcasing is a part of the Omnicidal bunch of servers which you have probably stumbled across if you have DZSA. Currently at the time of this video, Omnicidal don't have any DAISY expansion servers but it is the server I play on most if I want to break from the DAISY expansion mod. The main things I like about Omnicidal servers are the custom traders and missions. The traders are very easily marked and the missions never fail to provide some really good PvP combat. I play on Omnicidal PvP server 2 mainly and it features mods such as Z Spawn Selection, Traders, Airdrop, Specialist Weapon Pack, Remastered Armor Weapons Pack, Weapon Redux Pack, Masses Many Items Overhaul, and Summer Cherneris. Omnicidal's Discord server is a friendly community but has less channels than the other discords mentioned, in the case that you aren't bothered about out of game content. The final server that I want to talk about isn't what I would call the proper daisy experience, but what it is, is a hell of a lot of fun and really good to practice your aim on. When I want to wind down from a day of action pack daisy, I like to go on a server called V++ Deathmatch, and it is exactly what it sounds. V++ is an action pack deathmatch server where you can spawn in with a random loadout and get as many kills as possible. Basic, but fun. Think of it as Call of Duty free for all in Daisy's Northeast Airfield and other large areas around the Chernerous map. Amazing, it's honestly so much fun. The server I tend to play on is V++ Deathmatch 2 and has about 50 players on the server on average at once. Think about the Northwest Airfield with 50 players at once. Exactly, it's frantic and a ton of fun. The V++ Discord server doesn't have a ton of channels but has a channel where you can request features to be added to the server, which is brilliant. Anyways, as I said earlier, I'm going to be making a video for each server, showcasing their features and discussing my reasons for playing them over the next few weeks. If you do have any questions about any of the servers that I spoke about, don't hesitate to stick a comment below, and if you did enjoy, please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Don't forget to slam that bell next to the subscribe button if you would like to know when I upload any video, and who knows, maybe I'll make some Daisy series. Let's see how it goes. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.